All right, let's do a video on proofs again. And this would be a proofs involving like parallel and perpendicular lines and such. Okay, so given line segment uh, AE and FL are parallel. Okay, so we're talking about this line and this line. So, you know, we might even just put in like double arrows there to tell us that those things are parallel. Okay, reminding us, CJ bisects GCE. Okay, well, if the definition of bisects, well, that means that angle and that angle are actually the same. Right? To bisect is to cut an angle in half. Okay, and then the measure of angle LJC is 130. Okay, so then this is 130 degrees. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to work our way through this. Then we're going to come over here and actually justify all the stuff we've done. Okay, and the first thing, these lines are given, that's given, and that's given. Well, really, bisecting is given, and the definition of bisecting tells us that those are, those are equal. So I kind of already have four things over here. The next thing I'm going to do is that if this is 130, um, <clears throat> then I know that this is 50 degrees because of linear pairs. Again, I'm gonna write that over in a second. Then if E, if this line and this line are parallel, and this is 50, then this angle has to be 50. Those are alternate interiors, and I know that alternate interiors are congruent as long as the lines are parallel, meaning if parallel, then alternate interiors are congruent, they're congruent. Well, then I know this is 50, because the definition of bisect. But if this is 50 and this is 50, I know that this is 80. Okay. Um, and actually, I'm not even sure I even told you what I wanted you to find. I guess I didn't even write that down. That's kind of silly. So let's say then, what was the goal here? Let me flip over to my notes. The goal was to prove uh, H, G, J. We wanted to prove H, G, J. Okay, so our proof actually, it's kind of important, right? We wanted to prove uh, the measure, find slash prove the measure of H, G, J. And again, once we knew that this is 80, then we know this is 100 because of a linear pair. Okay, so here's our proof. We have to write it out. Okay, so the proof, first thing you have to do is write out the given. You have to rewrite it. I understand it's right there, but you still have to do it. We have to say it's given that AE is parallel to FL. It is given that CJ bisects angle GCE. It is given that the measure of angle LJC measures 130 degrees. Okay, now trace back what we said. We now know that this angle, let's call it GJC, angle GJC, is 50 degrees. Why? Because it's a linear pair. This and this are a linear pair, and we know linear pairs are supplements. Okay. Now, the next thing is we did this one. E, C, J. The measure of E, C, J is also 50 degrees. Why? because we have congruent alternate interiors. Why? Because we already know that the lines are parallel. Remember, if the lines are parallel, then we have congruent alternate interiors. So then I know that's 50, okay? Then I know G, C, J. G, C, J is also 50 degrees. Why? The definition of a bisector, and it was given it was a bisector. 
because those two are the same. Then measure C, G, J, C, G, J was 80 degrees. Why did we know that? The triangle sum theorem. The theorem, okay? Because we know that if you take a triangle, you add up all three measures, you get 180 degrees. So 50 plus 50 uh, plus what equals 180 and a little algebra. You know, there's a little algebra in there, but the important thing is that we start with the givens and we've, we've justified linear, we've justified that 50, that 50, that 50, and now that 80. And the last one is that we know the measure of what we wanted, H, uh, G, J, is 180 degrees because of a linear pair. Okay? Check mark. Okay, we, we proved this angle was 180 degrees. We started with the givens. We made conclusions and we justified every single one of them. Linear pairs, congruent alternate interiors. Again, this is true because that was true. Definition of bisector, yeah. We already knew it bisected. Triangle sum theorem is the theorem we know, and we know about properties of what it means to be a linear pair. Again, in these proofs, all of these proofs are gonna involve, these particular ones are all gonna involve, you know, given parallel lines. Somewhere then in the proof then, you're gonna use alternate interior, corresponding, um, alternate exterior, consecutive and interior, and then you're gonna use all the old stuff. Definition of what it means to bisect, linear pair, vertical angles, triangle sum, all that good stuff. Um, but, you know, these particular parallel proofs are the original setup, the lines are parallel, and then you're gonna draw conclusions based on knowing that the line is parallel. In this particular one, you're gonna use alternate interiors, and then you're gonna use the old stuff. The next one, maybe you're going to use, oh, these lines are parallel, and you're going to figure out that, you know, um, you're, going to, you're going to figure out the, the con correspondings have to be congruent because the lines are parallel, okay? So be careful with your proofs. Um, this is kind of a two-column, and I know I kind of like switch these that, you know, I put the givens here and then this, but then actually when I wrote the proofs, I wrote what I said and then why. I like this way better, actually saying this and then why, so I guess... If I wrote this again, maybe I would have flipped those and I would have said this is, is parallel to this. Why? Because it's given. This bisects this because of given. This given. So maybe I would have put the three givens over here. And again, feel free to do a two-column proof. Blah, 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 and then why. Or you can write it out in a paragraph. But me writing out like this is pretty much, you know, doing a two-column proof where you have statements. and then reasons over here, okay? Um, so hopefully this helps remind you of how we can get started on proofs. Make sure you start out with the givens and that you reason through logically using well-established geometric principles that we already know um, to write out all these proofs.